Welcome to Zoological World Today we are discuss about Fly the Fly is one of the most common and diverse groups of animals on the planet. Although they so often share an antagonistic relationship with humans as an annoyance or a potential carrier of diseases, these insects also serve many important ecological roles. They are the second most common pollinators, behind only bees. They help to keep the environment free of decomposing animal flesh. And as a common subject of genetic research, they also help to advance the frontiers of human knowledge. Incredible Fly Facts The evolutionary history of these insects dates back some 240 million years in the fossil record. These insects rub their legs together in order to keep them clean. The bristles on the legs are important sensory organs that can taste the food they land on. The maggots, which feed on decomposing tissue, have historically been used by humans to clean wounds. These insects undergo four different life stages. The first stage, the egg, only lasts a matter of 8 to 12 hours. After hatching, the insect enters a prolonged larval stage in which it goes through a few different molting periods over the course of several days or weeks. The third stage, the pupa, is an intermediate form between larva and adult. It lasts an average of five days. The final adult phase mostly serves the purpose of reproduction. The insect's lifespan lasts only a few weeks long. However, in this short time, it is very reproductively active. A single female can lay 500 eggs every three to four days. Fly species, types, and scientific name The scientific name for the fly order is Diptera, meaning two-winged in Greek. This order contains an astonishing amount of variety. More than 125,000 species have so far been described, but there could be up to a million species in total. House, horse, and blowflies are obvious examples, but what many people may not know is that even mosquitoes, midges, and gnats are members of the same order as well. Here is a list of the major groups. House and dungflies, muscoidea blow and fleshflies, estroidea marshflies, acalyptrate louseflies, hippobiscoidea hoverflies, Cirphoidea flat-footed flies, Pheroidea dance flies, Empidoidea robber and bee flies, Ocelloidea horse and snipe flies, Tabanomorpha stink flies, Xylophagomorpha soldier flies, Stratiomyomorpha crane flies, Tipuloidea drain and sand flies, Psychotomorpha mosquitoes, Culicomorpha gnats, Bibianomorpha midges, Blepharoceromorpha How to identify the fly The order of Diptera comes in so many shapes and sizes that it is difficult to say anything precise about it, but the one trait that unites all of them together is the dual wing structure. The first pair of wings are used for flight, while the second reduced pair is used primarily for balance and maneuverability. Other important features include two large compound eyes, claws or pads that enable them to stick on smooth surfaces, and complex mouthparts designed for some combination of sucking, lapping, and piercing. Most species in this order measure less than an inch long. The largest species is the South American fly, Goromidas heroes, which can measure up to 3 inches. How to get rid of flies The best way to prevent these insects in the first place is to eliminate all sources of decaying food matter, including both human and pet food, around the home. Proper food storage and regular cleaning are a necessity to maintaining a fly-free environment. If you want to get rid of the insects that have already entered your home, then you should invest in proper traps, electric insect zappers, and sprays. They also seem to have an aversion to strong herbs such as mint, lavender, and bay leaf. Keep your doors and windows closed as often as possible and try to eliminate or cover up any holes where they can get in.